Hello everybody, Nigel here and just giving you a quick update on what you can expect in 1.4.0 for Ishtar Commander. The first thing, you're going to be able to go to the Armour tab and you will now see your Intellect, Discipline and Strength at the top. If you tap and hold you will see the cooldowns for each of these. The next biggest change is there is now a Quests tab. If you go to the Quests tab, you will see your factions, you will see missions, you will see extra things that I haven't added yet, that I hope to add by the time 1.4 ships. And you can long press and you can see who you are aligned with. You can see in the factions, the two factions you're not aligned with will be dimmed. And you can tap and hold and see the exact numbers if those are of interest to you. They're certainly going to be useful next week when the update from Bungie hits. Finally, of course, your vault does not have a faction, so that is used to show the overall totals for all the characters. So you can see uh, how much of your life you've wasted or what a dedicated Destiny player you are. The next item is when it's Arms Day, you no longer need to fly to the tower and suffer extreme pain looking at the different orders. You just choose an order and here you can see all the different roles and you can use the perks view to view the different perks. If you have a large phone like an iPhone 6 Plus or a very large Android uh, phablet, then you can choose the order, choose long press an item, and you can compare all three in one go. The final change that I'll demonstrate is that loadouts have changed. First of all, a number of bugs with loadouts have been cr uh, crushed. So if you've suffered an issue in the past where you apply a loadout and then it sort of applies like 90% of the items, but not everything, and then you have to apply it again for a second time and then the second time it succeeds, those kind of issues have been solved and now in one go the whole loadout will apply. If we create a new loadout here, you can now see the UI has changed slightly and I can start adding items to the loadout. And you know, you're used to two items, but now you can have three and you can keep going all the way up to nine items. Ishtar Commander won't actually make room at the character. If that, say if you have a character with three items already, this, this loadout is gonna fail when it's transferred because there's nine items. For the moment, I'm not going to be automatically moving things away. There are two reasons for that. The first one is it's quite a chunk of work and I wanna push that to the future. The second one is uh, I've seen an issue where when things are moved automatically away, some people just jump to the incorrect conclusion that the app has deleted one of their you know, favorite weapons and they get rather upset. So for now, I'm gonna leave that out. In the future, I have a search plan and that will make finding items really easy. Probably once I add search to the app, then I will consider adding support for automatically moving items away to make room. Okay, the plan is uh, Tuesday Bungie are going to release the update. I'll probably spend a lot of Tuesday playing the update and enjoying myself. I will see if anything in the app is broken and uh, also see if there's anything in the quests tab that I can take from the update. Uh, probably spend three or so days uh, changing the app based on that. I will then release that to Apple. Apple will take a further week to review the app. So we're looking at two weeks from now, the app will be ready and it will be released then simultaneously for Android and iOS on the same day, roughly two weeks from now. And as you can see, there's quite a few features, especially this factions one that should make your life with the April update much, much easier. Thanks very much. If you want to follow me, follow me on Twitter at Ishtar Commander. If you want to help, you can contribute a buck a month. Go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Ishtar Commander. Thanks very much. All your support, feedback and messages are greatly appreciated. Speak to you soon.